Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode. My name is Nick, I'm an account executive here at Sona, and today we're gonna to look at Clover's feature of recurring payments. Recurring payments is great for a business as it automatically takes payments from the customer, which then reduces the workload. Let's take a look at that now on the Clover dashboard. Okay, so before exploring how to do a recurring payment on the Clover dashboard, I just wanna take a quick second and talk about the business models that will probably fit the bill for setting up a recurring payment. And really, to me, there's four main business models. That would be a membership business, like a gym or a club. The next would be a subscription-based business, which is like a newspaper or like a magazine. The next would be a recurring service business, as in house cleaning or possibly yard work. And the last would be like a rental type business. So whether that be like apartment, like a landlord pulling rent, um, storage lockers, or even equipment rentals. So those are the four main ones that come to mind when, when thinking about recurring payments. So to do it on the dashboard, you can see on the left-hand side, there's something called recurring payments. So if we click into that, your prompt, and you can see the ones that we've kind of tested here at Sona. Uh, but for this video, we're gonna actually go through and make a new one. So what you do at the top right, it says create new plan. So we select it. Then now it's gonna ask what the plan name is. So for this one, I'm gonna say gym membership. And it's gonna be $55. And I'm gonna set it up monthly. And as you can see, the frequency can vary as there's a lot of options here on Clover. But we're gonna do monthly for this video. Um, and then for tax, I'm gonna tax this. You don't have to, as you can see, but I'm gonna put the HST that we set up in our dashboard. And then I'm gonna activate the plan and hit save. So now you can see it's the top one, it's active. You can also see there's zero customers in it. It's like, uh oh, how do I add customers? Well, if we click into it, it takes us to the recurring payment. Now, again, to the top right, you see something called an add customer. So this is the only kind of manual process that you have to do at the start is add each customer and their credit card that they want to put on file for you to take the payment out of. To do that, you just select it. You can see that it already brings up the total as we already put it in. You can put a note for service you want. For this, we don't need to. And then if you already have the customer profile saved on your dashboard, great. If not, you can create a new one at add new customer. But for me, I'm already saved. And this is where you're gonna enter the card number. And as you can see, it blanks out some numbers for security reasons. I'm just gonna put the Sona address in here, for example. save the card on file and this is important if you want it to last forever you can you don't need to put an end date it's optional but say if a customer only signs up for recurrent billing for a year or a month or two you can set that here so for me let's for example let's only do a year so I can jump down to 2026 January 9th exactly a year and then create recurring payment well, that's it for today. Thanks as always for tuning in. If you have any questions, please reach out at info at We'll see you next time.